The new tonight, the criminal case against the former girlfriend of Fotis Dulos continues a week after he killed himself. Today, Michelle Traconis returned to court with her new attorney. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau of Chief Matt McFarland was also there. He's live now in New Haven with all the details. Matt? Well, Dennis, Michelle Traconis has been in court a number of times. Never once did she ask for the assistance of a Spanish speaking interpreter. That changed today. The request was made by her new attorney. The move caught the state by surprise, they say, but then the state dropped one of its own. Her first language is not English. So wearing headphones, Michelle Traconis followed along in court, listening to a Spanish interpreter. The 45 year old is charged with conspiracy to commit murder in connection to the disappearance of Jennifer Farber Dulos. We will waive the reading, enter not guilty jury election. Traconis was dating Fotis Dulos when police say he killed his estranged wife. The mother of five vanished in late May and hasn't been seen since. But last week, Fotis Dulos died a few days after trying to kill himself in his Farmington home. Today in court, John Schoen. Horn. Draconis' new attorney asked for her GPS ankle monitoring bracelet to be removed, along with a curfew and allowing her to move freely between Connecticut, Massachusetts, and New York. The judge said no. She's still on house arrest, but can now leave the house for approved work trips or to go to the store. The court set them. Uh, he said that she's been a resident of Connecticut for two years. That's correct. She's lived with Fotis Dulos. Um, she, at some point in time, ended that relationship. But I did hear, Your Honor, that she was having contact with him through a third party. Still trying to confirm that uh, in violation of the conditions of the release. An allegation Traconis' new attorney disputes, but he says next month he plans on arguing his motion to move the case to Hartford. Michelle pled not guilty today on the most recent charges and asked for a jury. And until I've reviewed the material that were just given to me, and that's why I brought this large briefcase. I have no other comment because I don't know enough to say anything other than what I've said before. Michelle is innocent of these charges and we plan to fight them through the courts. Now he says if the charges against Traconis are based on allegations that happened in the Hartford area, like uh, the allegation from police that she was caught on camera along with Dulos throwing out uh, garbage bags, which allegedly contained bloody evidence, he says if that's the case, he says then those charges need to be tried in the Hartford area. And he's going to make that case when she's back in court in late March. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.